February 10th, 1933, Primo Carnera, a heavyweight boxer called The Monster by Time Magazine, dealt Ernie Schaff fatal blows during a boxing match in New York City. The hapless Schaff died four days after the match. Digging deeper, we find Carnera as the heaviest heavyweight boxing champion of his day, a record held until 2005, and at 6 foot 7 inches, an exaggeration by an inch and a half, also listed as the tallest, again until 2005 when Nikolay Voluev won a title. Also known as the Ambling Alp, Carnera was an Italian fighter who has dogged his entire career by allegations of being under mob control and fighting in fixed matches. Fixed or not, Carnera won 89 of 103 fights and won the World Heavyweight Championship four months after the Schaff fight, defeating the reigning champion Jack Sharkey. Unfortunately for Primo, his own reign was to last just under a year, as Max Baer took his crown on his third try after two successful defenses by Carnera. An interesting note, the son of Max Baer, Max Baer Jr., played the strapping but not too smart character of Jethro Bodine on the 1960s television show The Beverly Hillbillies. Boxing's giant strongman was KO'd by diabetes and kidney disease in 1938 and had to retire from boxing when he had a kidney removed. Still active in other fields, Carnera acted in many films and became a well-known professional wrestler, serving as longtime champ. Some of the interesting roles Carnera played on film include parts in Mighty Joe Young, 1949, where he plays Tug of War with the Big Ape, The Prize Fighter and the Lady, 1933, which also features Myrna Loy and his future usurper Max Baer, and Hercules Unchained, 1959, in which he played a giant, also his last role. Films and references in films were also made that resembled Carnera's life, sometimes loosely, notably television's Requiem for a Heavyweight, 1956, Cinderella Man, 2005, and Carnera, The Walking Mountain, 2008. In 1956, a film adaptation of the 1947 book, The Harder They Fall, about a fighter whose fights were rigged, was made. It was reminiscent enough of Carnera that he sued the movie company, but lost. More recently, in 2010, the rock band Yesir released the song Ambling Alp on their Odd Blood album in reference to Carnera. One of the more cracked episodes of Carnera's career took place in 1941 when Benito Mussolini, the Italian fascist dictator, had Carnera filmed boxing a black African prisoner of war in order to show Italian racial superiority. The six foot three inch Zulu, who had no boxing experience, knocked out Carnera instead. Primo Carnera died in Italy in 1967, aged only 60 years, probably of kidney failure. Plagued by diabetes most of his life, the monster, according to a press release by Jeremy Shop, also ate like a monster, knocking down a quart of orange juice, two quarts of milk, 19 pieces of toast, 14 eggs, a loaf of bread, and a half pound of Virginia ham for breakfast. Well, they do say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. As a question for my students and subscribers, do you think boxing is too dangerous to be legal? Please let us know in the comments section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated. Music